Hey, what is up guys, it is Antho here. Said I wouldn't make another video until patch notes, but I wanted to make this before patch notes, just so people are aware of the difference between the Trickster version and the Saboteur version. Uh, basically, the Saboteur version is tankier against max hits and one-shots, and has vastly better clear. The Trickster version isn't a slouch at clear, because I'm going to be running two 15% AoE Cluster Jewels with uh, Set and Forget and Gorilla Tactics. So it's going to get 30% AoE there, and it's also going to pick up 12% uh, AoE here. Uh, I messed something up in this tree. This, this should be picked up for the extra AoE. That gives me a 3.4 AoE radius. Um, but uh, um, the Saboteur version gets much more AoE. So max 42% AoE for the Trickster version. Saboteur version gets 124% AoE. That's because this gives 50% AoE and also gives you gives you trap triggers from the nearby trap cells trigger, so which is really nice. Um, so sometimes even with a lot of investment into um, trap trigger radius, sometimes they don't trigger and um, if they spread out too far. And due to the massive AoE you have, those traps that go to the sides are still gonna be hitting the boss. So you're gonna have kind of more consistent single target than Trickster. So although the Trickster does about 31 million, D 31 million DPS and the Saboteur does about 26 million, the Saboteur probably has comparable DPS due to DPS uptime and easier placement. So they probably have comparable effective DPS. And Saboteur has much better clear because this gives 8% AoE, 8% AoE, 8% AoE, 8% AoE. And this is just like 10% more damage. This is a lot of damage reduction, 15% reduced taken and blind. Um, got trap throwing speed, trap throwing speed, um, area damage, it's great. And then you, you just get Pyromaniac by default, which is really nice. Um, mutant, knight, mutant to Knight and Shock, and 10% regen, which we turn to ES regen through Zelt's Oath. That's how we're getting that 2000 ES regen when comboed with this 2% energy shield regen mastery here. So, Saboteur. Much better clear, better one-shot avoidance, but more inconsistent, uh, about the same effective DPS due to the bigger AoE and the chain reaction trap triggering. However, Trickster has more consistent ES recharge. And that's a huge thing, actually. I don't want to undersell it. It actually is a big thing. But because um, you get 50% chance for energy shield recharge to start when you suppress spell damage. So basically you take you get hit by two spells and you're basically going to have a yes recharge which is unstoppable through Wicked Ward. Um, you're going to have over 5,000 recharge rate you know, on top of your 2,000 yes regen. So you're going to be regening you know, like 7,500. Recovering 7,500 yes per second which is more than half your total yes pool per second. And it's unstoppable due to Wicked Ward. And that's also big on no regen maps. Although I probably wouldn't run no regen maps because you need mono regen. You technically could run a mono flask, um, except you're kind of capping your res with uh, ruby, sapphire, and topaz flasks. So that would be kind of an issue. Um, you technically could do it. If you have one element that's overcapped by enough, you could swap one out for a mono flask. And that will probably be able to do it. Uh, but that's just kind of a side case, kind of a small use case. But basically, Sab, as said, gets way better clear. Trickster gets 42% AoE. Sab gets 124% AoE due to the cluster jewels, due to chain reaction, due to all the area of effect on everything, and due to these, this node here. So I'm just going to give a map demonstration of the SAB version. I don't have a lot of damage right now. I think I have like 400,000 DPS right now, and the end game build is going to have like 26 million. So you can do the math there. It's way less. So the clear is going to be a little bit slower than, actually a lot of it slower than it should be. But you'll be able to see the AoE of the, let's see, what do we got here? Curse of the Feeble. Unique monsters, yeah, and feeble's fine. Um, our damage is already kind of low, so it might make the clear a bit inconsistent. But 
I just want you to see the AoE of Saboteur, because it's pretty damn huge. And it looks beautiful with uh, MTX. Not Blade Jab MTX, it uses your weapon's MTX. Not like uh, weapon effects, but the weapon skin. Like I am using the Arch Nemesis, uh, sorry, not Arch Nemesis, Scourge weapon skin. And it makes it this kind of color on the outside. As you can see, for a trap build, this actually isn't that bad. This is literally not that bad. It's pretty big AoE. Once you have enough damage, you can swap in cluster traps instead of swift assembly. And have even better clear still. But I think I have a cluster trap sitting around here somewhere. I'll see if I have enough damage to do this. going to seriously kill your damage, but I'm just imagine this is 26 million DPS, you know, instead of like 300,000. That's single target DPS too, with like all my curses up, so just imagine this is much more damage, you're going to be insta-killing all these mobs. So let me put this back in here. And do the boss real quick. This is still in relatively shitty gear. This is a red map and it's really no problem. I don't have any portal scrolls. But whatever, that's basically the video, so don't really need, really need a portal out, but Saboteur is, I'm probably going to start Saboteur actually. Um, it's just much better clear. Trickster is a little bit tankier, a little bit better ES recharge, but Saboteur is better in a lot of regards actually. It's actually better in a lot of regards. So, peace out you guys.